All right, guys, welcome back to Son of Scotland TV. We're on the BBC website. Now, they might be fake news, but fuck them. They've got a Scottish Premiership prediction table, and I kind of need it. So uh, we're going we're gonna to sell our soul for the next 10 minutes, and we're going to use this BBC Scottish Premiership 2020-2021 season predictor table. And then you see the team's just going to go from uh, 12th to 1st, and we're just going to pick where I think these teams are going to come. Haven't made a video on this channel in a couple of weeks. Been really busy with work, but plan on uh, being back now making regular fids, especially with the Scottish Premiership season starting. I want to make I do match previews, match reviews, I do player transfers, and all that shit. Just basically talk crap. Uh, in as many videos as I can. So 12th, I'm going to go ahead here and select now, I haven't really thought about this deeply, so I'm going to kind of think about it while I, I go here. I'm not going to pick Hamilton. I don't think Hamilton will go down. Hamilton always seem to just survive. Uh, they're kind of like, I don't know, too, Hamilton kind of, they're shite, but I don't know. Actually, this could be the year they go down. I'm looking at the other options, and it's probably between Hamilton, Ross County, or St Mirren. I don't think it'll be St Mirren. You know what? I'm going to go Hamilton. I know I said they never go down, but I'm going to go Hamilton this year. I just think this could be the year that Hamilton go down. So I'm going to put Hamilton 12th. I'm going to put Ross County in 11th, the uh, playoff relegation slot in 10th. So fighting by the skin of their teeth, I'm going to go St Mirren. So that is the bottom three for me. Hamilton, Ross County, St Mirren. I believe it could be any other way about, you know, but I, I'd be surprised if any other team gets into the bottom three. I do think this will be the bottom three. I'm pretty confident this will be the bottom three, but, I mean, it could be in any order. I suppose Ross County could be last. Maybe St Mirren. I think St Mirren are probably better than... I think they've got a better squad than Ross County in, in Hamilton, but, again, not exactly by much, is it? So, I believe... Now, ninth place, and this is where it kind of gets a bit more difficult. Um, I think... I say difficult, but for me, it's probably going to be... It's probably going to be St Johnson. I think it... The other teams are well. There is one team there that just got promoted. Doesn't he hate it? But I actually think they're going to do. I think they're going to do pretty well this season. I'm going to go St Johnson in uh, ninth place for eighth place. It's going to be. It's going to be come on. I'm just not. I just don't think their manager's really that good. I think they have struggled since um, you know Steve Clark left them. And uh, obviously Steve Clark, he did a tremendous job. But uh, obviously, since he left, and what I think kind of worrying is if you look at since Steve Clark left, the Kilmarnock squad, in terms of players, like it's not actually it hasn't got that much worse. You know, they kept a lot of players that they had. So uh, they lost Greg Taylor. There's a few other players that they lost as well. But it's not as if this is a totally different squad from the one that Steve Clark had. Yet they've just went massively downhill, uh, losing in those you you don't believe qualifiers last year to the 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 the, the new not the new Saints the Connors Queen Nomads that team from Wales man fucking embarrassing result still can't go over that I'm gonna go Kamara eighth but if it was, if they had Steve Clark I'd obviously probably put them in the top six as for seventh place the, who's gonna be unlucky and just miss it on a European uh, on a top six split who's it gonna be I'm gonna say it's gonna be I'm going to go Dundee United. Aye. Am I? Aye, I am. I'm going to go Dundee United. I think Dundee United are good. But obviously, losing Robbie Nielsen, I think is a big blow. They have Shankland. Or, I mean, they have him at the moment. Will they have him? <laughs> Will he be there when his transfer window ends? I don't know. I think he's good. But is he good enough to carry Dundee United much higher than 7th? Personally, I don't think so. Um, I mean, Dundee United, you could make, you could make a case of them finishing... A lot lower than seven for me. Like I could see them finishing behind Kilmarnock and St Johnson, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. And I think if Shanklin can score the sort of goals that he scores in the championship, then that will be enough to, you know, get Dundee United comfortably into the middle of the table. Right, sixth place, the uh, the the last place spot in the top six, beginning to get a bit hard on it. I'm going to go with now. I know they were great last season, but I'm going to go with Livingston. I think they will go down a wee bit. I mean, if you just look, just don't have the sort of kit, don't have the finances that the other teams have that are left. Uh, I'm just going to go with Livingston sick because because why not? I think that's where they'll be. Livingston sick, although um, hopefully they keep Lyndon Dykes. It'd be massive for them. And uh, they were probably last season. They were, they were probably the team that you felt. All the teams in the league. They're probably the team that you felt most could 
actually beat the old firm because they they done it on several occasions. So that that team should be Aberdeen. Aberdeen should be the team that you feel like can you know beat Celtic and beat Rangers. But a lot of times that doesn't seem to be the case. Aberdeen seem to struggle quite a lot, even though they they can beat Rangers. But you never feel like they can truly beat Celtic unless Celtic want to let them win so Rangers don't finish second. That's about the only time you feel Aberdeen can uh, beat Celtic. And uh, I, I don't think Aberdeen are going to be back once Rangers for second place this year, so Celtic aren't going to let them win. Um, fifth place, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Mullerwell. I just think Hibs have been pretty. They're pretty poor last season. I think they will bounce back this season. I think they'll finish higher than Mullerwell. But um, I mean, make no mistake, Mullerwell were, were good last season, and they could they could finish higher than fifth, but. I'm just going to go fifth, because, because why not, man? It's my predictions. If you don't like it, then, <laughs> you know, you fuck off. I don't know. Um, Next up, I'm going to go Hibs. I think Hibs will be fourth. I mean, really, if you look at the teams in this league, they shouldn't really be finishing lower than fourth, should they? If we're being honest here, they shouldn't be. Fourth should be the minimum, especially with Hearts at the league. Fourth should be the minimum that Hibs are trying to finish. It'd be like, I don't know, it's kind of like, a team, one it's like one of the top six in England, you know what I mean? Not saying like it's like one of the top six teams in England. They shouldn't be finishing it said top six, really should they when you think about it? The amount of money that they're spending compared to other teams. And I think that's kinda the same with Hibs. They're, they're a bigger club and they're financially spending more money than the teams below them here, so they should be able to finish fourth. Third place, uh, I think I'll be able to dean. I think Aberdeen are going to have a pretty lonely season. I don't think anyone's really going to challenge them for third, and at the same time, I don't think they're going to be anywhere near the top two teams. So, to be honest, I think Aberdeen would probably settle for that. I think if you just said to them this season, third place, I think they would happily take that and try and just, you know, reconsolidate their places among the the, the best of the, uh, the rest, really. But I know a lot of Aberdeen fans are delusional and, and want to win the league and all that stuff. Not going to happen. I mean, if you couldn't win the league when Rangers were in it, you ain't going to win them with it in it. So, you know, that's what it is. Second place, will Rangers end 10 in a row? Well, they fuck. I'm going to put Rangers second. I just don't think they will, unfortunately. I do think Celtic have a superior squad than Rangers. Um, I'm not saying Rangers can't win the league. Of course they could win the league. They can, they've can. proved now under Gerrard they can beat Celtic. And in both seasons that he's been there, they have... By, you know, December, by the midway point, they've been right in the title fight, but on both occasions they've dropped off massively, and that is, you know, I mean, the season's not, what, 19 games long, it's it's 38, and you've got an issue, if, you, if you're going to drop off, you're going to drop that many points in the, the bottle, they just don't have the bottle, you know what I mean, I think Celtic, push comes to shove, I think, it, I just think it'll mean more to the Celtic players, I think, I think getting 10 in a row will mean more to Celtic than, Stopping 10 in a row means to Rangers. I don't know, that's just my opinion. I think a lot more, I think more Celtic players play for the shirt than Rangers players play for the shirt. And, um, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then, I don't know, one more ally seven be there, so who knows. And, uh, last but not least, I'm going to put Celtic in first place. I mean, I think it'd be a, uh, I, I think it'd be a big disappointment for Celtic if they don't. Well, obviously it'd be a disappointment, but I mean, I think they should be, I think, like I said, they're head and shoulders above everyone else in the league, apart from the Rangers, and then I think they're still a decent amount ahead of Rangers, so I think they should be getting a, I think they should be getting first, holy fuck, my mouth throat is absolutely killing me, I haven't made a video in a while, and Jesus Christ, even talking for nine minutes, I forgot how difficult that could be choking here for a drink, so anyway guys, that's, it. that's my uh, Scottish Premiership uh, table predictions, we're going to go from uh, bottom to top, we're going to go with Hamilton, Ross County, St Mirren, St Johnson, Kilmarnock, Dundee, United, Livingston, Mullerwell, Hibernian, Aberdeen, Rangers and Celtic, how how many will I get right, how many will I get wrong, uh, we'll have to wait and see, I'll definitely check back at the end of the year and see if I was right, with most of these or not, I mean I guess we'll go ahead and confirm these, and there you go, Scottish Premiership table. That is how uh, we're going to see the season end, apparently. So, interesting. Like I said, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Let me know who you think will win the league. Let me know who you want to win the league. And uh, I, I'll do, a, I'll do a championship predictor soon. Closer to the start of the season. I mean, let's be real, it's not it's championships. 
what, an hour, two months away from starting, so there's no point doing that yet. But anyway, guys, there you go. That's my Scottish Premiership final table. I think Celtic are going to make it 10 in a row. If you don't like it, then, you know, I mean, just go to bed and cry. That's pretty much it. Till next time. Peace.